thank you so much for being here today and in this video I'm going to show you how I took one of my photographs and changed it into kind of a line drawing and stamp looking kind of picture and then colored it my own way. Well, I'm going to put the download link below in the description for you. So you can download this uh, line drawing for yourself free and you can do your own picture. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, just wanted to show you quickly that I'm use, going to be using the Koi in here. And this is my Koi, my palette there, and then my brushes, some watercolor brushes. Um, and this is a set of 12 Koi. I got them at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. You know, use your coupon. These are good. Uh, I really don't have a lot of watercolor, so we're just going to play with these today. And this is has Prussian Blue, Cobalt Blue U, Viridian U, Yellow Green, Carmine, Vermilion U, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Deep Yellow, and Lemon Yellow. And then also Chinese White and Ivory Black. let's see what we're going to do today this is a picture that I took I took the color version of it of course I took it at the beach if you're uh, friends with me on Facebook you see that I I add a lot of photos uh, from the beach because you know I go to the beach every day almost every day and this was this cool pelican he was there and he was sitting there and he was waiting for the fisherman to give him some fish and he's just so beautiful so I took his picture and then I thought you know what what I could do is I could print the picture on watercolor and then just go over it uh, with different colors or just enhance the colors that he already is or I could just make a line drawing out of him with uh, Photoshop and it just print him out and then color him myself in the colors I mean he, he's a beautiful bird but if I was making him you know I'd want a little bit more color to him so um, so that's what I'm doing so I'm taking one of my this is one of my photos and I just turned it into actually I used the stamp uh, some of you may know how to do that on uh, Photoshop elements I have 10 so it's an older version but I'm going to add um watercolor and I'm gonna make it was kind of like a muddy gray blue area here where the water was coming in on the sand and then the water in the background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of look at the picture the original picture and um excuse me and see let's see So I'm just going to look at the, I'll oh, just edit this. Uh, now the original picture had shadows too, and I, I could, took those out. Uh, he had a shadow here, and I really wasn't interested in doing that, um, keeping that in. So I wanted to kind of make this just a small little picture. So he's white here, and he, well, I shouldn't say white. He's not really white white he's like a cream color here and this is actually this dark part here is actually like a brown different tones of brown and then his underneath is is also different tones of brown and in here he has orange and yellows and he's just very pretty but not as pretty as we could make him with paint right we can do what we want so that's what I'm going to do and um, I'm going to start I'm going to use watercolors to start and I think I'm going to probably stay with watercolor I don't know so we'll see and I've got my watercolors out and I'm thinking I want to do him in more of um, blues and purples and who knows why but in some yellow in there so I'm going to kind of start with um, some bright bright yellow here and just kind of get that in here and I'm going to do this very loosely because I'm not looking for this to go in the lines kind of if it goes out of the lines that's pretty cool and then I'm going to add um, 
some of this pretty blue. It's like kind of like a teal. And I'm just gonna kind of go with it. And you can do that with any of your photos, you know, just um, I think there's I just happen to have that elements. Um, I don't really it, it's Photoshop elements, but it's not really anything uh, fancy. So and I use that most of the time I use that to do my thumbnails for my YouTube channel because it'll resize. So I think this is very fun. I'm just going to keep dabbing color. I'll put a little bit of this. This is more of a an ochre like color here. And this is just showing you, you know, fun that you can do with your own photography. I mean, you know, I may just take these pictures with my iPhone. I'm not even using a you know, a fancy camera or anything like that. So, um, and I want to add, I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to make some, um, purpley kind of. So I just thought, I love this bird, but I really wanted him to be a little bit more colorful. I want that kind of blend in there. I like the way that's that's running. Actually, let me darken this a little bit. A little bit darker than what it actually is showing. That's more what it looks like. And go around. It's fun to be able to play and put your own vision into your pictures and since they're you know you're doing it with your own pictures you don't have to worry about copyright you know Add a little bit of the burnt sienna here. And I'll tell you the colors. Um, I offhand, I'm going to have to look at my, um, I should really mark them. 
I don't have that many, so it's not like this is a burnt sienna here. And I believe this this is the yellow ochre here. I just thought it was such a nice bird, but it just needed a touch of color. <laughs> and if you're an artist, you can see what you want to see. You know, you see things differently than the camera. I'm not really even changing my brush. I'm just using the same one. It's very relaxing. And these are great. You could take these, you know, make yourself even a journal of them out of your photos and just play with them. Uh, they're great to take with you. I was going to say take with you on vacation and stuff and go through your photos and um, make make yourself line art with them. I'm not really being very exact, am I? But I'm trying to get the ocean in there. We can use a um, ruler and get it more exact if you want. But I'm just going to play. And I'm using watercolor paper, so, and I printed him um, on the watercolor paper. I don't know if I said that, but it is cold, uh, sorry, hot press. I always find watercolor so relaxing. When I'm just doing, you know, a picture like this, it's just, you know, no stress.
Um, Sun. Sunshine. Um, Color is key. My picture that I took, the camera shows a reflection because it has the water coming up. And here, I'm not doing that, I'm making this sand, so I just have a shadow. Um, And we can and whites in there. Hmm. 
That was kind of fun, huh? I think you could add in so much more interest by adding in a little crab, um, you know, um, seashells, anything that, you know, fish hanging there, because that's what he was waiting for. Maybe somebody gave him the fish and a little fish on the ground, something like that, whatever, just to make it a little bit more fun. But definitely, you can add a lot to this picture. I'm just brightening it up with some of that lemon yellow and then I'm going to add some more of the uh, carmine and the cobalt mix to get that nice brightish magenta kind of looking color and just letting that flow in there and then I'm, I'm using some of the um, Prussian blue and just letting that flow into it and just just giving it a lot of color and not much detail just you know just a lot of colors flowing together and I think it's just making such a nice mix now I'm adding some of the this one is the yellow green and I'm just trying to brighten some of the yellow up a little bit more You could go over his feet with some gesso and do that, you know, make them a little bit more, you know, well, that you could see them. They're, they're really so dark that you can't, but that's, that's the way the, that the picture was, so. But definitely you could gesso over them. and lighten them up. Well, I thought that was fun. And I just thought I'd share that with you. Just a quick few minutes. And, you know, once this dries, I will sign it. And I just had some fun. What did it take me? Maybe 30 minutes? I don't even know. But it was fun. Now I'm just using some of that um, lemon yellow and just highlighting the sky a little bit, giving it a little yellowish glow coming down from the sun setting, it looks like, down there. Now and if you wanted to add some uh, clouds in there, you can, some birds in the distance. Um, you can get your, um, let's see, let's get a... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is really wet, so I'm just kind of going over the wet. So you can do that, you know, do with those, do clouds, get, get some acrylic if you want, and put some clouds in. And here I just took some of the Ranger Archival black ink and just going around the edges. And I'm sorry, there's such a shadow and it seems so dark. Uh, I don't know what happened with this clip, but um, you can get the idea. Just kind of framing it with the black ink. Well, I think I'm done. I did some shadowing uh, using the black a little bit with, mixed with some of the, um, which blue is that? That's the Prussian blue and just kind of, you know, add it in a little bit more shadow. You know, you can go on and, and keep doing that. And
keep tweaking it a little bit, adding some of that mixture, uh, just giving it a little bit more shadow and depth. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and you found this video inspiring and you'll go download the free drawing of this so this way it's a line drawing so this way you can color it and do whatever you can trace it it's traceable you can uh, download it and resize it add to it whatever you want and just have a good time with it so I hope you'll do that and if you do and you want to share it please do all my links are below I'd love to see what you do and don't forget to give me a thumbs Thumbs up and subscribe and I love you guys and I will see you next time bye bye